Today we're going to go over the action button for your iPhone. We're going to go in detail on how you set it up during the setup process and what it looks like to use this lovely button on the side of your brand new iPhone. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video on the action button. The action button is right here at the top. I'll go ahead and get that in light. So this button right here, it used to be a silent switch where you could physically move it down and up, but now it's a single single button and it's called the action button. And it allows us to do really great stuff. We'll go over this later. We'll go ahead and we can actually customize it right now. So you can press and hold to turn the silent mode on and off. So if I hold it, you can see it goes into silent mode. If I hold it again, it brings it out of silent mode. But you can customize this button and the action button can open camera, turn on flashlight, or access a different iPhone feature that's your favorite. We can go ahead and hit customize at the bottom right here, this big blue button, and we can see all of the options available for the brand new action button on the iPhone 15 Pro. And this is incredible because the silent mode switch here, it doesn't have to be a silent switch. You can swipe. You can switch between the action button features here. We can swipe over and we can see all the various different features. So at the very end, there is no action. If you press the button, it will do absolutely nothing. We can swipe over one more and you can choose an accessibility feature to turn on with uh, the action button. We can just click choose button or choose feature right here and you can see all of the uh, great accessibility features right here. One of my favorite features that we have with accessibility is live speech. I'll go ahead and tap that. And now when I hold down on the button, live speech will come up. So we can move over to another option here, shortcut, open app or run your shortcuts. We'll go over this in uh, great detail where you can choose a shortcut on your phone and allow your phone to do almost anything. Um, we can say music recognition, we can access different books, clocks, code scanner. We can have a ton of different options. There are thousands of possibilities to happen right here with the shortcuts option. Next up is the magnifier. You can turn your iPhone into a magnifying glass. We got voice memo. This is a favorite. You can, when your action button is set to the voice memo, you can hold it down and it will immediately start recording a voice memo on your iPhone. Quick access, perfect for getting quick notes or recording, you know, uh, on your iPhone with the voice memos. Another favorite is the flashlight. You can set your action button to immediately turn on the flashlight when you hold it down. And then you've got the camera app. If you take a lot of photos or videos, you can open the camera app and capture a moment with the action button. You just set it as your camera and move forward there. You have the focus option where you can turn on a focus mode. If you hold down the action button, it will set up a focus mode on your iPhone. And then we've got the original option as the silent mode. Just by holding it down, it will turn off or on silent mode. So those are the features there for your action button and they're highly customizable. And you can come in here and select whichever one you want and you know make this action button your very own action button. One of my favorite that we just set up is the action button. All we have to do is just press this button on the side and silent mode will be turned on. So just like that, you do have to hold it down. If you tap it, it will not um, you know, automatically do it. You do have to hold it down for a few seconds in order for it to process there. So really cool feature there that we've got baked in and I'm really excited about this one. One of my favorite features is standby. This looks incredible when you use a two-in-one L gear charger. You can charge your AirPods in the back and attach your iPhone and magnetically charge it just like this and enter the brand new standby mode. You can get a 2 in 1 L Gear charger using the link in the description and get 15% off using the code AppFine and enter this brand new standby mode on your brand new iPhone. It looks incredible. You can scroll through the widgets here just like this. You can see various different widgets. You've got stock, you've got a clock, you've got other clock faces. You can swipe on the right and see you've got the calendar, we've got the weather. We've got our events calendar and reminders. We can swipe over to the right and see more things like our photos. You can unlock using Face ID and type in your passcode to see photos. And then we can swipe over and see different clock faces. So it's really impressive because they've got tons of different options and this looks stunning as a nightstand or on your desk when you attach it to a two-in-one L gear charger and you use MagSafe and you Enter, you enter standby mode and you have options to view all the different widgets and the clock faces right here just by swiping over. So it's a beautiful interface and really neat and you've got to check it out on your device. It's incredible. Don't forget to use the link in the description to get your 2-in-1 L Gear charger where you can use standby mode. 
Thanks for watching today's video on the action button. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. Let us know what your favorite action is for the action button in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to figure out when we release our next beginner's guide. We love making this technology content for you and we can't wait until you watch the next one. See you soon.